Are we buying these breakouts? Find out next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5 on Thursday, April 18th. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White and two pitchers who had great performances on Wednesday. Tanner Houck, a three-hit shutout. It's actually back-to-back -back days with a complete game shutout in Major League Baseball. What year is it? He was awesome. Nine strikeouts, 19 swinging strikes. The other one, Christopher Sanchez up against the Rockies. Six innings, one unearned run, 10 strikeouts to one walk, 17 swinging strikes. That velocity remains up so far this season. Scott, are you buying the breakouts for both of these guys? And if so, which one mm -hmm. do you like more? I'm a bit more inclined toward Christopher Sanchez because I saw a lot to like last year as well. And in fact, considered him a sleeper coming into this year. So a little bit of confirmation bias, a little bit of leaning more on the, the lengthier track record there of success. It's been kind of a mixed bag for Christopher Sanchez this year. It's fair to say, but mostly, mostly control has been the issue because he was a standout in control as a rookie last year. That was one of the big selling points. We heard this spring he was trying to throw harder, which is how he first broke in as a, a minor leaguer. He was a harder thrower, and he kind of pulled back on that velocity to get more control. He was trying to get the best of both worlds this year. Um, but we didn't really see that come together until this start for Christopher Sanchez, where he threw more than 70% of his pitches for strikes, walked one in six innings, had the 10 strikeouts. It was against the Rockies on the road, which is maybe the best matchup, pitching matchup there is. So you, you have to add that context. But you know, it's now three of four starts where Christopher Sanchez has been pretty good, and the strikeouts have been good. Hopefully he can continue with this control. And if he does, I think he'll really be onto something. But hey, I, I like what I'm seeing from Tanner Houck, too. Uh, he's had just one misfire among his four starts as well. It was a particularly ugly start. But three of the four have been great, and this one was the best yet, obviously. He's been emphasizing his slider, and that's helped him become more of a strikeout pitcher. And then in addition to that, in this start, in this complete game shutout, uh, Tanner Houck, through his splitter 34% of the time. Normally it's more like 10 to 15%. So the usage on that was way up. It's always been a good swing and miss pitch for him. I've always been asking Tanner Houck to throw him more. He did in this start. And if so if he gets those gains from the slider and the splitter, he could really be on to something. Uh so I'm I'm considering both of them to be top 50 starting pitchers in fantasy now with upside still to improve from there. Let's talk about a hitter who might be onto something. That is Esteri Ruiz, who led off against a lefty in Steven Matz here on Wednesday, one for five, with a sock and a shoe. That's now two games that Ruiz has played two home runs. The homer he hit in this game, 109.8 exit velocity, the hardest hit ball in his career, 412 feet. He's already 61% rostered, Scott. I don't know that we need to add Esteri Ruiz in points leagues. But now that there might be power, we heard in the offseason that he's added some bulk. He's looking to hit the ball harder, and he got sent to the minors. That's exactly what he did. He's back for two games, and that's exactly what he's done. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if Estuary Ruiz clicks, he's going to matter in every fantasy league. It's just the impact he could make in categories leagues just in the stolen base category is so significant that you can't afford to wait and see how this playing time situation shakes out. Um, but if 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 he's gets to playing full time and has added some power, we saw him we saw him put up pretty good home run totals in the minors. So it's not outside the realm of possibility. We've heard of the spring that he was hitting the ball harder. And yes, on in the span of three days, he has now set a new record for his hardest hit fly ball, much less home run twice. He's done that twice in the span of three days. So it, we're we're seeing tangible results there. Uh, backing up the reports of him hitting the ball harder. And that's not even what we're counting on him to do necessarily. We're counting on him to steal dozens of bases. I think, <laughs> given the looks of the Athletics lineup, given how Ruiz himself looks, it's it's only a matter of time before he's back to playing every day. And uh, I, I would be very encouraged by that. I would pick him up in any categories leagues where he's available. 
For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye. 